My son has no friends. My daughter sits alone during lunch every day. I hear the other mothers talking, and I feel hopeless. I'm worried that I'll have to take care of my brother for the rest of our lives. My husband and I cannot afford to pay for all of the therapy that my daughter needs. My marriage fell apart as a result of raising our son. The quotes we have just shared are from the parents and the siblings of a loved one who has autism. Perhaps you noticed that academic success was not mentioned. They think daily about their son, their daughter, their brother and their sisters, inability to socialize with their peers. I started a company 10 years ago teaching multimedia and technology to children. I noticed that a large portion of the students that I was seeing were special learners. They loved the technology. So I reached out to Bernadette for some guidance. I've had over 30 years experience in the field of special education. I began to see there was a disconnect between the paper and pencil programs that we were using for children with autism and everything that surrounded us. So I looked at Chris and we spoke and we decided to start a social skills program together. We incorporated Chris's understanding of technology and my understanding of how to teach social skills to children who are on the spectrum. So how do we teach social skills to this new generation of tech-loving children? We have them become avatars. avatars. Hi, Chris. Hey, Baron. I look pretty good as an avatar, 25 years younger and a tad bit thinner in the waist area. <laughs> yeah, not bad, Baron. I chose a younger, more suave version of myself. So let's show everyone how we can use avatars to teach social skills. That sounds like a great idea, Chris. Let's start with eye contact. OK. Turn around. OK, now we are not making eye contact. Turn around again. That's it, now we are making eye contact. It's just that simple. And we're also socializing, talking, and communicating with each other. Yes, and we can practice all kinds of social skills, such as topic elaboration, topic closure, topic generation, and we can do this while we're using our emotions, just like this. Hey, Chris, do you eat sushi? No way. In fact, I'm allergic, and if I eat it, I'll get sick, blow up, and I could start to cry. I might even get angry at the person that tried to feed it to me. Identifying the emotion that is used during a social situation is crucial for someone who is on the spectrum. And all we're using are video game controllers and microphone headsets to uh, control the avatars. And we can record the interaction the entire time so that we can play it back from the students to learn from. In essence, we're creating a real-time social animation. Here is an example of a movie that was created by two of the students that participate in our social skills groups. Hey, Vinny, do you want to go to the park since we have no school? I don't want to go to the park. I don't like the park at all. I think that I did what you wanted on Saturday. It's my turn to pick what we do today. I want to go to the park. Well, guess what? What? I'm not going with you at all. I'm staying home. Wow. So if you don't get your way, it's the way for highway for me. That's mean. I'm not mean. Yes, you are. Wait. I'm making a mistake. We do need to take turns. It's not fair if we don't. That's what I'm saying. OK, let's go to the park together. As you can see, the avatars provide a visual representation of the students. And it's interesting to note that some students do not choose avatars that look like themselves. They choose different age groups, different ethnicities, and some even choose different genders. Using an avatar decreases social anxiety. 
It helps the students look at the visual model, identify their own voices and use that to their advantage, as well as learning because it enables them to watch the interaction. Earlier you heard comments from parents that were struggling to help their children. Now let's listen to some who have found a solution through technology. My daughter's teacher asked her where she learned her social skills. She said she learned them while playing with an avatar. It's difficult to talk to my daughter about her emotions, but when she has a controller in her hand, she opens up. My son wanted to find a social skills program that was very much fun. So now he rushes to social skills so that he can make movies. Billy just went on his first play date with a friend. Thank, Thank you. you.